also help my jobs around about the club, cleaning out the dressing room, washing the kit, polishing the boots. And from time to time, he had to help the groundsmen. Now, at that time, Ben's pap was the best playing surface in Scotland. And asked how he kept the grass looking so lush the ground and said, ah, that's easy. It's all the fucking shite that's on it on a Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> The first six months went really well, and at the end of the season I was going on a trip, and my money being a bit tight, my lucrative contract afforded me 40 quid a week at that time. And that's always the question you get asked, are you jealous of the money that players are on these days? I say, jealous not at all. I've got enough money to last me a lifetime, as long as I die on Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> so with the money being a bit tight, and this trip coming off at the end of the season, I decided I was going to take a summer job in a farm just outside the knee picking strawberries. First day I turned up from my work was scorching hot, I was out there in the field picking the strawberries. The end of my shift, I felt my lips getting a wee bit tingly. Went back to my digs, get a big tea and get the heat down. When I woke up in the morning and looked in the mirror, my lips were all covered in these sores. Turned up at the farm, the big farmer took a look at me and went, fucking hell boy. He said, what a state your lips are in. He said, I think I've got something for that. He said, the big crew over there in the field, go over, lift its tail up, run your finger round the rim of its arse and dab it on the sores. I said, well, that clear them up. I said, no, I'll stop you fucking letting them. 